Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Rocket League Mechanic Series. Today, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to execute the fastest flip in Rocket League. Before we get started, only a small group of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed to the channel. So if you do find my videos helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you sub to the channel because it's completely free and you can always unsub whenever you want. Anyways, without any further wait, let's talk about how to speed flip and kick off faster in Rocket League. Okay, the reason I'm making this video is because recently I've been taking a look at a bunch of 1v1 play during my private coaching sessions over on my Patreon, and it's shocked me just how many players don't Bruh. understand proper kickoff technique. The truth is though, the meta kickoff right now, right, the speed flip, isn't actually as hard to pull off as people make it out to be. And honestly, I bet I can teach you everything you need to know to be able to do the speed flip, including some things other YouTubers haven't mentioned, like how to properly use it in game in just this one short video. So definitely stay tuned if kickoffs are something you want to get down. Before I get into this though, I wanna give a quick shout out to the first ever sponsor on the channel, Plink. Now, as you guys know, I've been hesitant to do any sponsorships on the channel up until this point, just because I wanted to make sure that when I talk about a brand, it's something that I can actually get behind myself. But truth is, Plink is an app that I can actually get behind and that I think will actually be useful to all you watching. So hear me out. Plink is an app you can use to find other skilled players to queue with in Rocket League. Basically, it's an all-in-one looking for group app that doesn't just find people for you to queue with, but it actually matches you with them by tracking your skill and in-game stats. Just connect any of your gaming profiles like PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo, or any other PC gaming platform, and Plink will show you your friend's stats along with your own in-game statistics. It's never been this easy to find players and really compete in ranked. See you online and stay in touch with players around the globe. Plink will match you with other like-minded teammates, whether it's in Rocket League or Apex Legends, Rainbow Six, PUBG, Fortnite, League of Legends. I wasn't able to find a single game this application doesn't have. Get all the info about new games or achievements of your followers in the newsfeed and join them as soon as they start playing. Install Plink, add me, and get a push notification whenever I start to play. I'll be picking two lucky winners who follow my account SpookLuke on Plink to win an hour session of playing with me. So definitely give the app a shot and follow me if that sounds interesting. Thanks again to Plink for sponsoring this video. Okay guys, like I said, I think the speed flip is actually not all that tricky to learn so long as you understand one thing, and that is flip canceling. Now, if you're unfamiliar with flip canceling, all it really means to flip cancel is to stop your flip before it finishes. And while there are many situations you can use this mechanic, to execute a flip cancel in general, all you really need to do is initiate a dodge and then immediately pull your joystick in the opposite direction from wherever you initially flipped. So before we get into speed flipping, make sure you can do a basic front flip cancel or back flip cancel by flipping and then immediately pulling down your joystick in the opposite direction. But okay, once you can do a basic front flip cancel, believe it or not, you actually know everything you need to start learning the speed flip. Now, just like with half flips, there are actually two ways to execute a speed flip, but I'm just going to teach you the method I use because I think it's a little easier. If you watch this video to the end, I'm sure you'll be able to get it down, but if you're a curious mind and you want to know the other way to speed flip, I'll link you to a video by my friend Tip that shows you the other method. Anyways, to execute the speed flip, all you really need to do is a very straight diagonal front flip cancel. In other words, all a speed flip really is, is a very straight diagonal front flip cancel. But here's the thing, unlike half flips where we'll let our car flip for a little bit of time before we perform that cancel, when it comes to speed flips, we're actually going to cancel our flip immediately after we start it. So to be clear, what we're going to do 
is initiate a very straight diagonal front flip, whether it be forward to the right or forward to the left, and then immediately pull down on our joystick and hold it down until we land. Now what this is going to do is it will stop the flipping animation very quickly and leave our car in a position where the nose is just tilted slightly forward. What's more, flipping this way will make it so that our car is always front facing throughout the duration of the dodge. Now, the reason this piece is so important is because when done right, we can now hold boost throughout the speed flip to keep propelling ourselves forward without ever having to ease up on the boost like you'd have to do with a normal front flip. On top of that, the boost is also serving a second function, which is helping us get our car grounded even quicker because of that forward tilt I mentioned earlier. So really, these two things combined is what makes the speed flip such a powerful mechanic. Okay, but now that I've gone over the basics of how to speed flip, I don't wanna stop there and just tell you to go practice. Don't get me wrong, while a lot of this mechanic does just come down to getting that muscle memory, there are a few other things to consider. First, one major error that I wanna clear up straight away here is how long you need to hold that flip cancel. I know I mentioned earlier that the direction you cancel matters, but you also need to make sure you hold down in that direction until your flip is done. If you don't, your car might flick around like this, and this is actually a mistake because when we do this, we lose our forward tilt that I mentioned earlier, which is a part of what makes this flip so effective. Okay, but even if you get the flip cancel piece right and you hold your joystick down long enough, odds are when you finish the flip, your car will still be rotated a little bit off center. And let me just say, this is totally normal. So another thing you want to do to correct for this and make your speed flip as smooth as possible is air roll with the direction of your initial flip to correct your car. So for example, air roll left if you flipped diagonal left and air roll right if you dodged diagonal right initially to get your car back in that starting position. One last thing I wanna mention also has to do with this landing part of the speed flip. The fact is, even with that air roll, just due to the nature of this being a diagonal flip cancel, your car is probably going to end up facing a slightly different direction than when you started. So to avoid spinning out, make sure you hold down on power slide as you land to maintain your momentum in the forward direction. One final tip that I wanna say here that I also mention in many of my settings guides is binding your power slide and air roll to the same button. This makes a lot of recovery mechanics easier, including this landing, so definitely give that a shot if you haven't already. Apart from these tips though, guys, speed flipping is largely a muscle memory thing. So in terms of practicing to get this muscle memory built up, I recommend you start in free play so that you can test out everything I've explained up until this point. After you've practiced for a while though, and trust me, it will take a while to get this down, you can start to test your speed flip from different angles with the speed flip training pack I'll have linked in a comment below. Now, I really like this training pack because it sets you up in different positions to sort of simulate in-game situations. And it's a little better, in my opinion, than Musty speed flip pack, which I will also link because it's not quite as impossible to start with, but it gets harder as you go through the levels. So definitely check out this training pack once you feel like you're starting to get everything down to really put your speed flip to the test. All right, if you followed up until this point, you now know everything you need to start learning and practicing this mechanic. But unlike a lot of other Rocket League YouTubers, I don't wanna just stop the tutorial here because there is one more thing you need to know to actually be able to use the speed flip in game to win kickoffs. You see, just speed alone isn't going to guarantee you win any given kickoff. The fact is, if you do it the wrong way, the speed flip can be countered very easily by someone just delaying their kickoff. Remember, what the speed flip does is get you to the kickoff first, but then you still have to actually use that advantage to win the kickoff. So let me show you a super common way that new speed flippers 
get this wrong. In this example, what I want you to pay attention to is not the speed flip, but the actual 50. As you can see, even if you get to the ball way before your opponent on the kickoff, if you flip way earlier than them, you're just gonna roll off the ball and actually give them a free kickoff win. So the takeaway here is if you want to use the speed flip right, you're going to have to adjust how you use that second dodge right after you land based on your opponent's speed as well. For example, if you're in a lower ranked lobby and using the speed flip you find you're always first to the ball, what you're going to want to do is then delay that 50-50 flip until a second after you hit the ball. This way, you won't roll off the ball or hit it right to your opponent, and this will actually give you the best shot at winning that kickoff. Now, the same thing goes if it's the other way around, right? If you know the opponent is going to beat you to the ball, you're going to want to start that flip earlier to compensate. This sort of rule that I'm getting at, where you flip early if you're slower, or flip later if you're faster, isn't the only kickoff rule, but it is important if your goal is winning the kickoff. Now, if you're intentionally trying to lose the kickoff, like in 3v3 or something, it's another story. But my point is, just speed flipping alone is not an unstoppable strategy. Sure, you can just speed flip casually if everything's going as planned, but if you notice your opponent is consistently slow or consistently faster than you, that's where adjusting your strategy is going to be critical and that holds true speed flip or not. But okay guys, I hope this tutorial helped you learn not just how to speed flip, but how to actually incorporate it to effectively win your kickoffs. Now I will say the extra tips I added don't really apply if you can just straight up beat your opponents to the kickoff and hit it around them. But the majority of the time, especially going forward as everyone starts to get this mechanic down, it's going to be super important to not just be speed flipping, but really be speed flipping with a plan in order to win those kickoffs. But alright guys, that is about going to wrap things up for this video. I will say, if you're still struggling with the speed flip, definitely consider checking out my other speed flip tutorial, because I go over a couple common mistakes there that I didn't mention here. But regardless, I hope this video was helpful for you in learning the speed flip. Also guys, really quickly before the video ends, I do want to let you know about the monthly giveaway for those of you who are new to the channel. Basically, at the end of every month, I pick a random winner to win a month's worth of free private coaching with me. So if you want in on that, make sure to join my Discord and enter because I picked the winner over there. Other than that, guys, that's all I've got. So if you did find this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and all the other YouTube stuff. But as always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.